It's, it's really great to see so many of you again in, in person here in, in Munich. So thanks for, for making the effort and coming here. And um, I also think that probably everybody enjoyed the possibility to meet in person, have some talks and networking um, after the, the all the lockdown um, during Corona. So thank you for coming uh, to our annual NDS public conference. And uh, I also like uh, to say hello to the um, participants online. So we have a hybrid uh, version today. Um, so who is not able um, to travel to Munich um, is, is participating online through Zoom. So yeah, officially I would like to welcome you to the fifth NDS public conference here. Um, and uh, let me start. We have a tough program until three o'clock in the afternoon today. And for the NDS members, um, from 3.15 to four o'clock uh, Central European time, then we have the N NDS uh, General Assembly for all members of the association. This part now, the public conference, as the name implies, is for everybody. And that's also the reason um, why we are doing this um, as an NDS, as a, as a standard. I think we are doing great work and it's important to talk about this. Uh, talk about this also to the non-members um, to show what we do contribute, what we do, what we have achieved publicly and hence create more visibility and awareness for NDS. And of course, we're also looking for input and feedback from, from the industry, is there anything um, which is missing? Uh, we'd like to know it, but of course we're also interested in hearing what's great and where you can see uh, benefits in using NDS. Okay, the agenda, um, I roughly made the time schedule, so we'll have the welcome notes now. Um, we have a couple of new NDS members who will shortly present themselves. Um, then um, 9.15, I think that's 10.15 to 10.30 is a break. Uh, at 10.30 to 11.30, we'll have some success story by NDS members. And then I'm also happy to have a, a, con a presentation from uh, uh, Woven, uh, which is belonging to Toyota about how they're using NDS Live and Open Drive conversion, uh, Open Drive conversion in a simulation environments. It's a practical example, and also really happy to have um, an Asian uh, company here presenting. After lunch break, we'll have a panel discussion on NDS Live with BMW, Mercedes, Bosch, Harman, and MMG. Uh, then followed by Fabian Kleberg uh, presenting the technical achievements. After another break, uh, there's a second round with Fabian on Serio and why we decided to use Serio instead of Protobuf for serialization. And then at the end, Otto Miro from uh, will uh, the NDS product manager will give an outlook over the roadmap of NDS is. So that's it roughly for today. And some highlights, yeah. Um, starting now with my part. So what did we achieve um, pretty much during the last year? So we had three new member companies, which is great. Um, we are always happy to see new members signing up and stay tuned for what these companies are looking forward to do or contribute to NDS. We have published six, uh, 26 articles and we have now 1,585 followers on the social media, which is great. Um, uh, we're seeing that the efforts for doing more marketing with NDS pay off. We have uh, done a migration of the infotainment layer from NDS Classic to NDS Live, so that's also available in NDS Live. In the meantime, we also have certification for NDS Live um, available. And another point to highlight once again is we make it easier for non-members and for non-commercial use um, to, to use NDS. Yeah? Um, so the specification is now openly available. You can use it for non-commercial um, applications, demos, proof of concepts. Um, 
so that everyone who is not yet a member can can see and learn how MDS works before making a decision to become a member. Of course, we want all the, everybody using MDS to become a member. Um, so let's see how this works out. And NDS Live, um, the adoption um, is, is getting some traction. We have first commercial projects starting to use NDS Live. Okay. Um, recapping again, what is the goal and the vision of NDS? NDS is the worldwide standard for metadata and automated ecosystem. So with the worldwide coverage and global adoption one specification with flexibility uh, for customized user experience. Map data refers to a data model in storage format, uh, st um, not the actual data. And we're targeting a broad application in the vehicle, but also in companion applications in the cloud and vehicle-related services, especially including driver assistance and autonomous driving, not just navigation. So this is the current membership uh, roster. So um, see a broad participation from car manufacturers, uh, system suppliers, map providers, uh, software companies, um, and service companies. So um, that's a very good share. And um, in the meantime, we have a significant number of members from Asia, uh, so we are really happy that uh, we'll have a strong adoption of NDS in Asia. We can, of course, have a little bit more um, members from the uh, American market, but that would be still a goal to increase the membership level there. New members are these three companies, so Impelius, um, Map My India and uh, ZF. And as said, both of them, uh, all three of them will give a short presentation after I'm done with speak speaking today. Yeah. NDS Classic is more than 10 years on the road. Uh, so we have the first cars shipping with NDS-based navigation systems in, in 2012. Today, NDS is used in over 40 um, vehicle brands. You can see uh, some of them on this screen uh, globally and uh, millions of uh, vehicles. So um, we are really happy to see this continued adoption of, of NDS. Um, here, most use cases are infotainment and navigation. Now, with NDS Live, we'll also see more um, ADAS and autonomous driving um, applications being deployed to car. So that's our next target um, to, to also be in millions of cars worldwide. That also leads to the question, what is the benefit of becoming NDS member? So um, the membership is a prerequisite to, to sell and distribute commercial NDS products, as I mentioned. NDS membership also provides new business opportunities. Um, as we see the request for NDS compliant systems in the market, you also have availability and access to all NDS tools uh, for the development of systems. Um, in Fabian's presentation, I guess you will see some, some of these tools. And uh, yeah, it also av avoids um, redoing stuff that's already existing and duplicate work. Um, and uh, we have access or we provide access to the NDS support team and uh, community. And lastly, you can also influence um, the future development of the standard. NDS membership comes with a membership fee. And um, what are we doing with that money yeah, from NDS? So um, here's a breakdown of the uh, membership uh, or the, the, the budget spending uh, based on the figures from last year. And the, as you can see, the vast majority of the effort goes into technical development and features, um, plus 
documentation which is needed to use the standard so in a, in a sense that's also a part of the specification hence and certification um, only a small share or a small share is um, used to administration marketing but also tool licenses uh, infrastructure uh, and uh, servers that we need to host and run NDS association so um, from my point of view, that's that's a healthy share that we invest a lot into further developing and making uh, NDS better usable for you. I talked about NDS Live already. That's the new generation um, of the standard that we have started to develop a couple of years back, and uh, it's gradually being becoming mature and uh, from our point of view it's it's ready to be used in, in products for both HD and SD maps so we have the HD map layers we have ADAS map layers with the respective um, attributes and data and still also or continue to support infotainment and navigation um, applications with the respective data yeah, what you expect like uh, voice guidance um, 3D buildings and, and so on. So we'll continue to you to support all these type of applications. Technical progress on NDS Live um, details will come from Fabian. Then, so just some some highlights um, as shown on the previous slide. The NDS Classic migration of navigation and IVI has been um, finalized. We have working groups that are focusing on best practices. Serial performance and functional safety has been improved. Also, Fabian will talk more about that. Um, advanced feature search and uh, geo-JSON export in NerdView and LiveLab is possible and uh, certification available for NDS Live services. Um, and we'll also hear more about this going forward. Visibility and, and awareness. So um, this is an, an overview about uh, of, of all the articles, news articles that have been published uh, during the last 12 months, um, usually at least on LinkedIn, some of them or most of them also on our own website. We also have published a, a couple of videos on, on YouTube. Um, and uh, the number of followers in, on LinkedIn has increased by uh, uh, 12%. And we see good feedback here. So um, that um, social media uh, channel in LinkedIn is working out very well. Uh, and uh, we see that NDS becomes more visible on the market. And first call to action here, if you have anything to talk about. So we are depending on also on your content. Um, a lot of these articles and are success stories and applications from NDS mem members. So if you have good ideas, if you have success stories, if you have if, if there's anything remarkable or new application you want to talk about, please let us know. Then we can publish it. Um, of course, with referring to, to the companies contributing so that we'll see that um, what on and can show to the outside world what we can do with NDS. The second thing is um, the the marketing activities have been coordinated uh, over the last years by Philip Hubertus, who was with here. Um, he really did, did, a, did a great job coordinating and preparing the material, reviewing it. Um, this was done on a voluntary basis. Unfortunately, Philip is no longer with here uh, since March of this year. Um, as uh, acting solution, uh, Marcus Juncker uh, was volunteering to take this over. And, uh, but we are still looking for somebody um, out of the NDS uh, community to take over that role. So please talk to me if you are interested, really would be happy to have one of the NDS member to step up here and uh, support us. You won't need to, you don't need to do this all on your own. Um, we have uh, professional support from an agency, Weber Shendrick, 
which are actually based also here in Munich. Um, so they manage the publication on the LinkedIn account, the MBS website. They're also reviewing and, and uh, po polishing up the articles, provide p um, uh, visual material and, and so on. So um, having some uh, use cases uh, available, for example, if an engineer has, has some, something to talk about, you don't need to be a marketing expert to, to write an article. Um, Weber Shandwich and the marketing coordinator will support you there. Yeah, I mentioned this. Yeah, let me know. Okay, um, we were also present at various events with NBS, I ITS World Congress in Los Angeles. Elif Marketplace in Baden-Baden last year, Open Auto Drive Forum in, in Chicago just uh, two weeks ago, Zip Ardo's workshop in Japan, end of October, I think, or October last year, and the ASAM International Conference. So it's equally important to be present at conferences, host own events, um, at, but also be at uh, other associations and uh, consortia. So um, we are actively seeking for corporations. Um, and here, uh, besides working with Ardasis, Sensoris, Tisa, Asam, Sipardus, and TNITS in, uh, in the Open Auto Drive Forum, I'm really happy that by the end of, uh, to announce that by the end of last year, we closed a partnership with the Autosar Consortium, um, especially to enable uh, the transport uh, and the uh, distribution of map data, MBS Live map, ba map ba based map data over the autos are some IP protocol. Yeah? So if you want to um, um, sh send map data from one ECU in the car to a different one, you can use the autos are some IP protocol based on this collaboration. And uh, we will further uh, talk about this uh, together with, with the Autosar Consortium. Yeah. So also this helps us to um, yeah, bring NDS uh, more into in-vehicle applications for non-infotainment use cases. A short overview of NDS uh, certification for NDS Live. Um, so uh, certification um, kit has been released in the first version and I don't want to go uh, into the details of the process, but just point out one thing. NDS Live is a, is a service, has a service interface. So we don't have uh, a fixed database anymore that can be just run through a certification process. We need to make sure that the, the service and all the potential um, updates like shown here in this um, download package, or if you have different uh, data coming from different services are consistent um, and compliant with the NDS um, uh, life specification. Yeah. Um, so we will have the data service, but also uh, pre-installed map data that may be inside the vehicle, for example. And so the certification process by nature has to be different um, than it was with NDS uh, Classic. One more topic um, is about the availability of HD maps for autonomous driving. Here you see a list of uh, data that has been provided by the map uh, companies to us about the availability and the coverage of HD maps. Um, <coughs> so if you're interested, uh, you can read it here or please approach the map providers directly. And uh, when it comes to NDS Live map data and services, um, please stay tuned and see what the NDS members will present today. Yeah. What what I would like to call out explicitly, um, we need and we are depending on your involvement and your feedback. So as mentioned already, visibility of NDS and, and marketing activities. 
um, please reach out to either Fabian, uh, Markus Juncker, or myself if you have any idea. The same for product definition and roadmap. In this case, you can also reach out to Otto Nero uh, directly and also your product plans with NDS. Um, talk to us about your needs, um, if there's anything that you would expect uh, from NDS, and then let's see how we can help and support you. Yeah, I mentioned it. NDS Live specification is openly accessible, so make a use of it if you're not yet a member of NDS. So we give you the specification, tools get used to it. We are also open uh, to get learning your feedback and your requirements. And uh, yeah, it should help you build applications and you can check the business potential before signing up. Uh, and still, just make you aware a commercial use requires to become an NDS member and then <coughs> also sign the NDS member cross licensing agreement and you also um, cover through the certification process. All right. Yeah, for the um, members here in the room, I think if you have questions, just raise your hand. Um, and then uh, wait, please wait until we pass your micro so, uh, microphone so that uh, also the online uh, participants can understand and follow the question. For the remote participants, please use the Q&A icon in uh, Zoom. Marcus uh, is going to watch Zoom and will let me know if there are any, any questions and then we'll also read them out uh, and uh, we'll answer them after each presentation. All right, so that's it from my side. Um, a few important links. And uh, if you have also would like to reach out me on a dedicated email address. So that's it. At this point, are there any questions so far? Online? Oh, let me check the on timing. Little, a little bit late. We started also late, but I think we can catch it up. All right. <laughs>